morning reefers, I'm Daniel from Coralust, and this is the follow-up video to the RDI system's pressure loss. I figured out what it was, um, so I'm going to show you guys and explain it to you a little bit better and give you a tour of the RDI system. Okay, here is the RDI system. Let me tell you what went wrong and how we fixed it. So I have a dual membrane system that takes rejection water and feeds it back through the extra membrane to help speed up water production and reduce wastewater. Um, but my membranes were completely clogged because we have um, a water filtration system and the carbon in the house had actually got through the line and you can actually see there's black um, in the line from all the carbon in the house. So anyway, those membranes were replaced. I thought this pressure reader would have actually done something, um, but I don't think it ever moves. It's probably broken. So your equipment, you can't always trust it. Um, that's why it's good to have fail safes and do routine maintenance. So I have a new membrane and now, thanks to Billy Pipes, I now have an extra DI canister. Um, so I'll be running now three DI systems um, just to help keep the water extra clean, which I have to now clean up all this mess because this frustrates me. I don't like any wires or hoses that are longer than they need to be and not tied back. Well, I'm a little OCD that way. So feel free to ask any more questions in the comments below. And I am going to do a full tour tank breakdown um, over everything and kind of give you guys a walk through my system, my sump in the future. I just kind of been getting uh, my new software and stuff situated. So thanks for watching and as always, happy reefing.